2020 election 2020 2020 is happening here. Who the hell wants to change what we're doing now? Yeah. The Todd and Don show is on the air. Uh-huh. Here are Todd and Don. Yeah, Trump's focused on signing better trade deals, growing our economy, rebuilding the military, killing terrorists, finishing the wall, ending human sex trafficking, fighting the opioid crisis, preventing voter fraud and putting America first. Meanwhile, the Democrats are trying to stop this mean old orange man. Uh, jump in here at 512-836-0590. Toll free 877-590-5525. If you have a 401k, if you have mutual funds, whatever, they've never been as full as they are right now. Enjoy yourself. Times are good in this country. Right. Stop looking for the bad stuff in this world and enjoy the great times that America has presented to you. <laughs> you have never lived... There has never been a better time to live in America. I, you know... Times are great. How come people... Especially uh, younger people, you know, 25 to 35, 40, that kind of thing. You often hear them, you know, saying, I just can't afford to live in this city. Can't afford, can't find a job, can't afford a home, that sort of thing. I'd love to hear how tough it is. You know what I mean? We talk about the affordability crisis and trying to find that first buyer, you know, that first time buyer's sure, home, right. that sort of thing. It's hard in this town. Yeah, hard in the core of the city. In but the not, core. But not hard in this area. No, you got a lot of choices. If you're, listen. If you're having tough, a tough time making ends meet right now, if you're unemployed, you got no excuse. Right. You got no excuse. The economy has never been better. If you're not making money in this economy, eh, maybe you need to reevaluate your position Something's in this wrong world. With, with your math here, you're not thinking correctly. You know, I, 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 anytime I hear, and it's usually with some kind of a celebrity uh, on the left, who's talk makes some reference to. Yeah, you know, in times like these, yeah. you know, in in at a, a, a crisis time like this in our country, but they never get specific about what they're talking about. Yeah, because I can't, would, yeah. I yeah. would like to know exactly specifically what in the hell you are talking about. What is the crisis in this country right now? I'll sit back and wait you're... for your wait for your answer. I think what you're saying is. We should open up the phones as Todd and Don solve your problems. Oh, I'd be glad to. Whatever the problem is. I'd be glad to. If you can explain to me what the problem is. Sure. You may be uh, looking to buy a house. You may be looking to find a job. You may be looking to get married. Whatever it is. Wherever wherever you are in life. Right. If you've got a problem, we're here to help you. When I hear the state of things right now in this country, but they never go any further than that. It's like, please explain. And it. You Please keep, call us. You keep focus on that negativity. That's what it'll bring to your world. But I would like to help you if you can explain to me what the issue is in a way that I can understand it. Oh, that mean old man, he's he's taking away trans rights. He's taking away women's rights. Right. He's taking away uh, minority rights. Right. No, he's not. Name one thing he's taken from you. Right. Name he- one thing he is stopping you from doing in this world. Name one thing. That he is stopping you from yeah, doing this war yeah, in this please, world. Please, please, and he, oh, by the way, he's trying to enforce the laws when it comes to border security. I know that's a big issue for a lot of uh, people out in Hollywood when they make this reference to uh, in the state of things right now. He's, you mean where he's trying to enforce the law? Yeah. Okay. They think uh, they think he's trying to cook babies like little baked potatoes wrapped in tin foil blankets in a cage. Well, he might be. I have no. idea. I have no idea what he does away from work. 512-836-0590. Austin Mayor Steve Adler, he is looking for $1 billion from the state of Texas to solve the homeless crisis. A billion. That's what I said. Uh, well, I'm assuming he's looking for a Grab billion. My calculator here. Yeah, the governor of California is proposing that the state spend about a billion dollars to tackle that state's homeless crisis. That move has Austin Mayor Steve Adler a little jealous. I, am, I admit I'm a little envious of the uh, of the attention that the governor of California is giving to the to the challenge of homelessness. Their challenge is is, is much graver uh, than than ours is here in Austin. And one of the reasons why, as a council, we said we're going to make this the top priority now is so that we do not end up in the place that that California is in. Yeah, there are about 2,255 people experiencing homelessness, they say. Well, bless his heart. They're address deficient. Right. Yes. And uh, right here on the streets of Austin, that according to the 2019 point in count. Yeah, the city is currently in the process of uh, converting some hotels and motels into housing options. Uh, Here's the mayor again. I'm envious of of the uh, resources 
that, that other states are giving to their cities. Uh, I wish our state was more uh, engaged in helping with, with housing, with rental assistance, and, and helping to, to provide permanent supportive housing. This is a challenge that didn't happen overnight. It's not going to get solved overnight. Yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of work that's being done. Man, he's uh, man, Mr. Sleepy. Well, well and, and bless his heart. Bless, Bless his, his heart, because he sounds nobody's like he, helping him. He, he sounded so sleepy. He sounded like he slept under a bridge. Yeah, it is, it's like, it's, Mayor, if you have a little more energy, we might be listening a little bit more closely. It's, right. It's, it's, you're just dozing us off. Now, uh, according to the city spokesperson, uh, the city of Austin budgeted $63 million this fiscal year to address various homeless issues. The state has provided Austin with about $700,000, not including the funding the state provides directly the homeless services right here in town. I'm sorry. I, I don't feel sorry for our mayor who's saying that our governor is not helping out, given the fact, mayor, you and your city council is what caused, is causing this, 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 this problem to escalate like we've never seen before. Don't get it's angry, on man. you, buddy. Calm down. Don't get angry, man. Come on. Don't get oh, angry. Don't oh, get upset. I'm, I'm, show, I'm showing restraint. Oh, Jerry in Round Rock. Good morning. Hi, Jerry. How are you? Is it Kerry or Jerry? It's you, man. Well, whatever we, whatever you, you want. Right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, phone connections. Yes, sir. So uh, I, I I grew up in Round Rock, right? One of the few. Um, graduated from high school here. My wife grew up here. And there's a reason why we live in Round Rock and we don't live in Austin. Yeah. Right? And, and a lot of times I work for a pretty large company and people will say, hey, we're in meetings. Where are y'all from? And somebody says, we're from, you know, our company's in Austin. Our company's actually based in Round Rock. And I constantly correct them. No, we're not in Austin. We're in Round Rock. Big difference. Yeah. And Adler, in his statements about, you know, state, please come bail us out, because we really, really screwed up our city, and we want other people to pay for it. Yeah. That's where I have a problem. I got you, man. I'm right there with you. Uh, jump in here. 512-836-0590. Really hard to feel for him, isn't it? I hear you, man. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, stay with us. Coming up at 720. Uh, and uh, maybe you can answer this question when it comes to the impeachment. Uh, Jerry Nadler, Trump, and all this stuff that's going on. Senator Blackburn calls for the recusal of Senate Democrats who are running for president. That includes Senator Warren, Sanders, Bennett, and Klobuchar from the jury next week in this impeachment trial, arguing that they cannot be impartial per the oath of judging the very president that they're trying to seek to replace. Well, see, I agree. So do you I agree? agree. 512-836-0590. That's coming up at 720. Also, some business news. The Todd and Don Show. 